Put it up there. <laughs> Kansas has lost two in a row here in Ames to the number ninth ranked Cyclones. They trail now 64 56. Boshi puts in a long range three. He's got 16 for the day. Six minutes to play in the second half. Here comes Shane Powell. Kevin, Iowa State, no easy baskets in the paint this afternoon. Every time they go to the rim, they're challenged. There's a tough hoop. Ransick puts it down. He's got five. Elevated over the top of the taller Jayhawk squad. Iowa State coming into today has won eight consecutive games overall. The spin by Gregory with the sweet shot and an Iowa State foul. Freshman on senior. Shane Power Guard and Kenny Gregory. Gregory with the spin move and the contact. We talked about the foul line. 45 percent. And the crowd will remind him. Number five score in the conference. The number 12 rebounder. Kansas from the free throw line today is one of four. And Iowa State, John, is 10 of 12 from the strike this afternoon. And then a look. The win streak. Conference win streak and the eight game win streak this season started after the four overtime loss to Missouri in Columbia. Gregory tapped it, but right back to Ramsey. Now five and a half to play. With Tinsley bringing it up. Out there with Power, Ramsey, Shirley, and Horton. Basically the starting five. Tinsley with the drive. Boshi tries to defend. The block by Collison. Kansas has seven blocks today and a foul called on Nick Collison. And Tinsley has to recognize more quickly the fact when he's going in a weak side or strong side big guy is running at him that shot was blocked away although the foul was called on Boshi. It was Boshi Rancic, was. you know Rancic wide open to about a 10 footer Tinsley's got to give the ball up they're going to get some open looks. Boshi is saying how in the world could it have been on me but he just picked up his fourth foul with 5 12 to play. Iowa State as a team shoots 73 percent from the foul line very efficient everybody that goes there has a high percentage by the way Chenoweth has grabbed a second rebound we've talked about it a couple times and now passes Will Chamberlain for number four all time in the Kansas rebounding charts coaching five to play Jayhawks down 68 56 Collison has not scored in the second half dishes to Gregory spins it to Ballard Foiled by Tinsley. Boshi with the Chenoweth screen. Shirley with a big time rebound, toggling it up inside. And a foul called on Kansas and Ballard. Shirley, the senior. More hungry, more determined. Watch a shot by Boshi. Again, the quick release, but maybe too quick. Surely going over the top, and there's the reach by Ballard. Surely at the free throw line. Grew up a die hard Kansas fan. Just outside Topeka, Kansas. But he comes here as an academic scholarship player. And surely hits it. He graduated in December with a mechanical engineering degree. He's a graduate school right now. And here is a player that in a lot of teams, John Sunville, would have been probably just an ordinary guy. He's a starter here on a top 10 team. And again, under the, the guidance of Tim Floyd, Larry Eustachy, toughness level has increased year by year. He has had injuries in his every season, it seems like. Last year, he missed eight games with a broken foot during conference play played in the last two NCAA games in the Sweet 16 lead eight gave some solid minutes and this year he has been extremely good nearly 11.7 rebounds a ball game. Iowa State for the free throw line today 14 of 16 Kansas one of six one of six from the free throw line for the Jayhawks. Boshi on the perimeter picked up by Shirley a mismatch here we'll see what Boshi does feeding to Brett Ballard back to Boshi plenty of time in the shot and Rancic quick enough to stay within distance of Boshi good move down low by Collison. 
Collison puts it up and in with four and a half to play. Like the Kansas zone? Well, I do. What's tough against Iowa State when they have a lead, it's hard to chase them. It's hard to trap them. Again, great ball handlers, great shooters, difficult teams to trap and do things. So the zone, they're going to make Iowa State beat them with some jump shots, put a hand in their face. Like from Tinsley right here with Ballard in his face. The Jayhawks get it. Heinrich quickly the other way. And Boshi picked up by Hort Collison. They try it inside for Chenoweth, who was mauled inside by Shirley. And smart basketball. Chenoweth runs right to the block. Shirley working hard, but giving up some inches. Shirley picks up his third. Collison, and Collison has made some nice passes, but really you want to throw it up by the rim. Let your big center go chase it up in that level. Chenoweth is having a career year. His scoring is up. His rebounding is up. So five doubles this season. And he's, he has had an improved year. And now Kansas two of seven from the free throw line. Kansas in rebounding minus three this afternoon. And the Jayhawks still shooting 57% from the field in Iowa State, 43%, yet Kansas trailing by 11. Well, I have taken, they've taken care of the ball better. Still with 21 turnovers. Iowa State still with 12. Iowa State's led by as many as 14. What's the, the difficult position now for Kansas? Again, senior leadership of Iowa State in the guard position. They understand and know how to win. Cyclones by 10 with under four to play at the sold-out Hilton Coliseum. This town will not put up with the vulgar body movements of Elvis Presley. It's all the buzz. Now take a look at the CBS Sportsline stand of the game. It's got to be three-point shooting. Iowa State had 11 in Lawrence 12 days ago. They got 10 here this afternoon in Ames. And all hit, all 10 hit, six, all 10 by the freshman. Six wow. by Sullivan, four by Shane Howard. And there's Drew Gooden with a cast on his right wrist, hurt in the Texas game. You see his numbers, what he means to this ball club. 6'10", mobile, can shoot it outside. He's active on the board. What a terrific player he is. And we hope that wrist is better next week. Hope he can play Wednesday. When they take on Colorado, Powell, Tinsley. And three and a half to play in this game. In the two years watching Iowa State play, last year and this year, they rarely beat themselves. When they have leads down the stretch, they usually maintain it because the foul line is good and they're a good shooting team. It's Iowa State's call. The Cyclones led by one and a half time. Kansas had eight turnovers on their first ten trips of the second half. And Iowa State has built their lead this afternoon as high as 14 points. And two freshmen have had career highs today. The kid with the ball right now, Shane Power, was 16. And now Kansas goes man to man. They're going to chase a little bit. Ballard's got to move. Now they'll sit back in that zone. Power. And Rancic. And Tinsley. Eating up some time. And good ball move, making the defense adjust. Shot clock is at seven. Carving inside range. Oh, what a Shot. Handle the ball for 30 seconds and Rancic the little fadeaway. Chenoweth glides inside for the finger roll with the miss. And the freshman power. And Collison the sophomore with a jump ball called, and it will be the Jayhawks ball. There's Roy Williams, who is only six and six against Iowa State in Ames. And one and four against you, Stacy. Well, well documented, had a chance to go to North Carolina in the summer. His loyalty to this program at Kansas, one of the best in the land over time, and the record that he has. He's trying to find a way to get bodies healthy and to get his team their confidence back in the stretch run of Big 12 play and to get ready for what kind of seating they can get for the NCAA tournament. Kansas was as high as number two in the country earlier this season. Now at number six, they lose to Baylor on Monday. They may lose here this afternoon, but Heinrich may have something to say about that. The number 13 three-point shooter in the country. They don't go away easily, do they? No. He's got 13 today in Kansas, down by nine. I think Heinrich and Boshi have outplayed Tinsley and Horton. They have been terrific on both ends of the floor. Tinsley and Horton have to find their shots down the stretch, have not made any long hoops. 
points. Kansas only has two points off the bench today. Normally that bench is bringing him 19 a game. Ransom, he's at two big baskets late in the game. They get shot clock down to five when they scored. Clock now under two minutes. Heinrich twirling around. Boshi from 23. Good, he puts it in. And the three-point shooting at Kansas has been a big story here this afternoon. 19 for Boshi, 12 in the second half, and the Jayhawks are still breathing. The next generation of wireless communication is here, and technologies from Agilent are helping make it all possible. We've taken the fiction out of science fiction. Agilent Technologies, dreams made real. The Jayhawks have canned seven three-point shots this afternoon. And defensively, you have to communicate. Power and Horton both leave Jeff Boshi wide open. Outstanding ball game. Kansas shooting 58% from the field. Heinrich, Gregory, Collison, Ballard, and Boshi in with some full court man-to-man -man by the Jayhawks. Tinsley, Shirley, Ransick, Power, and Horton for Iowa State. And this is the game Iowa State stay with Tinsley. Some help from Boshi, who can stay with him. Is that five on Boshi? He's gone. Mistake. And he was hot in the second half. Well, and a mistake by Jeff, and the fact that you know you have four fouls, Tinsley's already picked up the dribble. Don't reach, just stay away from it. Boshi had a glittering 12 points in the second half, 19 for the game, and he was he was their guy. Well, one of the better games I've ever seen Jeff Boshi play. Tough on the defensive end. He stayed with Tinsley all afternoon, or Horton. He responded to the big game that the Jayhawks needed. But a mistake here at the end. Chenoweth comes in. With 1.34 to play. Larry Ustashi leading the Big 12. The defending champs coming in. They beat Kansas 12 days ago, 79-77 in Lawrence. And he has used the same kind of mechanism this afternoon. Shoot the three and play a physical brand of basketball. And against Kansas, he is four and one all time and zeroing in on his fifth win. And Tinsley missed both free throws. Unusual. The score here. Down 74, 66 with the miss. Chenoweth gobbles it up and puts it in. And a timeout taken by the Jayhawks who now creep to within a 74, 68 reach with 117 to play. This town will not put up with the vulgar body movements of Elvis Presley. I saw him gyrate his body and wiggle his hips. He should not be on television. Obviously, this is top secret, or we wouldn't be here. Until next week, this meeting never happened. This is go, no go, folks. Our product lines mesh, go. Our growth, your cash flow, go. Finance is in. The street will love it. The press will eat it up. No SEC issues. If we do this deal, we'll have eight server farms, 10 extranets, and 10 different platforms, plus the wireless project. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? And that's when it hits you. You are so ready for IBM. With John Sunvold, Kevin Harlan, you see the timeout story. Kansas is out. Iowa State's got some foul to give, and they've got three timeouts, and they've got the backcourt tandem of Horton and Tinsley still out there, which has been driving Roy Williams crazy all afternoon. And full court pressure by the Jayhawks as Nash comes back in for KU. Again, Iowa State all season long has not beaten themselves by turning the ball over, and they normally make free throws. Now, Tinsley missed two. We'll see if they can continue to convert. All five guys can handle it well for Iowa State. And turnovers have killed Kansas this afternoon. Heinrich trying to smother him, and Gregory doing the same, and a foul called on Gregory. 
He picks up only his first foul of the afternoon. Unusual in that Kentrell Horton tried to go over the top of Gregory. Horton at 225, 61, you want to go through the track. You try to pass over a big break for the Cyclones if the whistle was blown. Kansas from the free throw line today, 3 of 8. Iowa State from the free throw line, 14 of 18. Rebounding story, plus one for Iowa State, 28-27. Well, look at Horton at the foul line. Has not scored much this afternoon, only five points. Probably the most dependable player in an Iowa State uniform can play offense, defense, comes every day to work. And you're looking at the number one free throw shooter in the Big 12 at 85%. Guy you want at the free throw line. Couple beauties. 76-68. Well, you stretch it to a three-possession game. You force Kansas into hurrying up to try to find an open look. Over the 6-11 Rancid. May have altered the shot. The rebound is inhaled inside by Shirley. Going with Chenoweth. Solid block out. I think Tinsley got a timeout. He did. Iowa State has won 33 consecutive games at home. 51 seconds left to play, and they lead the Jayhawks. Mom? Dad, do you remember how my rent was earning me airline miles? Yeah, that rewards program. Scrap it. I'm not going anywhere. Mark. What I want now is merchandise, preferably brand name, and I've been kicking some numbers around, and I've already earned the television. That's going upstairs. Give me a hand with this, Dad, please. Dad. You want brand name merchandise? Yeah. What does this look like, a Holiday Inn? <laughs> Points, miles, or merchandise. Holiday. Penny is 14 points today. Kansas led early by three, but the Cyclones have truly controlled this game. They've answered every Kansas run today. Yeah, Kansas has not been able to get even in this second half. Full court pressure with the Cyclones inbounding, picked up by Shane Powell. Here comes Iowa State. And here comes Horton. Hemmed in, gets it off to Power. You have to foul. You have to foul. The game's over. And that's what Heinrich does. Well, and unfortunately, Heinrich has to foul. He now fouls out of the game, too. Ballard can't allow that to go. You've got to get quickly to him and then make it a free throw contest. Heinrich is gone. The sophomore from Sioux City, Iowa, who originally said he was going to come to Iowa State, and then when the coach Tim Floyd left, he left and he went and joined Roy Williams. Well, down I think this ball game. I think Heinrich and Boshe said something about themselves as people and as players. They have outplayed Tinsley and Horton, the two seniors for Iowa State. Outstanding game. They were tough enough to handle the pressure of the crowd. The turnovers again has killed this Kansas team, but give credit to Iowa State. What a ball game. Well prepared. They came in. They've done the things. And the two freshmen, Shane Power and Jake Sullivan. Huge ball game. Power at the free throw line has 16 points. Sullivan, who's on the sideline, has 22. And they did it by shooting the three. Yeah, knocked him in. Power hits it. Well, the last time a team beat Kansas five consecutive times was between 1982 and 84. Oklahoma State did it. Right now, Iowa State coming into today, having beaten Kansas four consecutive times. I was looking for time off. Two freshmen, 40 points. That's Amazing. The difference. And the Kansas turnover is down yeah. 21. And the two freshmen, 10 of 12 from three-point lane. Gregory knocks down his second three this afternoon. He's got 16. More court pressure and the quick foul. And Brett Ballard is the one to get him. And he'll go after Shirley, a 66% free throw shooter. Did not foul Horton at 90%. Roy Williams, first time any team has defeated his squad five in a row. And they've got some work ahead, but again, Drew Gooden on the sideline, a big difference to this Kansas lineup, offensively and defensively. In Kansas losing to Baylor on Monday. If they lose here to Iowa State, you would assume they will drop out of the top ten. And Iowa State will climb. They beat Missouri last Sunday. They beat number six Kansas here. 
They could really move. It. You know, last year Iowa State won the league. They went 32 and five overall, 14 and two in the league. Then won the Big 12 Conference tournament. They got a number two seed, which honestly hurt them. They had to play Michigan State in the Elite Eight, which I think was the championship game of all of college basketball. Absolutely. Now, if great. Iowa State can run the table, they win today. You got four more. You got two on the road, two at home. You run the table. Can they get to a number one seed? It's a it's a possibility. Traveling violation. Turnover number 22 on Kansas. As you stay, she shakes the hands. And I'll promise you, that guy's going to look and say, you know, Horton goes two of eight, Tinsley one of 13, and we still won. Hey, we have a solid, solid ball club. If the posters are listening, no team in Division One has won more games over the last two years than Iowa State. And they beat Kansas for a fifth consecutive time over the last couple seasons. Number six, Kansas, losing for a third consecutive time in Ames, Iowa. And Iowa State winning for the 34th consecutive time at home. Jeff Boshi for Kansas, although that's Heinrich's pitcher, it's Boshi winning for Kansas. And for Iowa State.